Today we're heading to Atlanta, Georgia. It's gonna be a fun trip. We got some rain, some fun weather, and I'm gonna go learn to fly a DC-3. Got some really cool stuff coming around that, but we got some fuel, we got some oil, we got some snacks in here somewhere, and we're gonna go to Georgia. And then about a month from now, I'm gonna go fly a DC-3 from Virginia to Europe, so stay tuned for that. Hotel Papa cleared to the 6 Alpha 2 Airport via the 0 Alpha 6 departure. Radar vectors now direct Alpha Zulu to back direct. Maintain 8000 for frequency 123.7 plus 7425. Okay, we're cleared to the 6 Alpha 2 Airport via the 0 Alpha 6 departure. Radar vectors uh, Alpha Zulu to back direct. Maintain 8000 departure 123.7 squawk 7425. Benham the 367 Hotel Papa. And then 7 Hotel Pop, read back, Drake Griffey, you have 8 of Tango. Now we have Tango. That's a flat. So we got a little bit of weather today. We'll let the engine uh, warm up here, but we're going to basically skirt around most of it, but a bunch of convection over here along the east coast, and we're just going to go right down the middle. Okay, so we got a stiff left crosswind. Uh, here we go. Okay, everything is looking good. Got airspeed. There's 50 knots, 60. A little bit more here, then we'll pull it off and crab into the wind. There we go. We'll get that crab going there and get the gear up. Plane into 7 Hotel Papa, safe flight conditions. Uh, so we probably got some light rain right now. We're in IMC, uh, pretty smooth ride. Maybe some uh, occasional light turbulence. Thank you. Do some calf exercises here. It's really important on long flights. You know, you're sitting a lot, make sure you move around. Because you don't want to end up with uh, DVT, deep vein thrombosis and a, a blood clot. And so it's a real risk, no matter how old you are, or how fit you are, get your calves working and get some blood flowing there, and, and then also get your, your feet elevated really as much as possible. So, you know, sit back, relax, take your shoes off, put your feet up on the seat next to you, that kind of thing. Oh, three, so pretty close to the plan, actually, just by, you know, kind of go around the weather and everything. It'll, only be, it'll probably be about 20 minutes longer than flying direct was supposed to be. We're at 7 Hotel Papa, you're 12 o'clock, approximately 10 miles to 15 motor three slips for the next 20, 30 miles. 7 Hotel Papa, and uh, does, it, does it look like kind of the narrowest band of that is maybe at about our 12 o'clock or maybe like 12.30? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, you're present heading, uh, well, you'll fly through the narrow narrow band of uh, pre -slip. Okay, thank you. So we're going to try to go through this, uh, kind of just the narrowest part of the band. Doesn't look too bad. Maybe in some moderate precip for about a minute or so. Just a couple of bumps there as the rain picked up and so back. Slow down just a little bit in case we do get any bigger bumps. Or just a few knots above maneuvering speed. But I don't think it's going to be an issue, but better safe than sorry. Seven up on a deviation left of course, nice deviation left or right. Okay, we'll go left about 170 for 7-5. So, Papa, deviation left, of course, approves, and uh, for now, we'll let it permit to direct 6 alpha two. Okay, when uh, weather permits, we'll go direct destination 7-5. Approach Finan, the 7 Hotel Papa. How does this heading look uh, for you for the weather? November 7 Hotel Papa, actually, my weather radar has been unreliable, so I'm not getting any weather returns uh, on my scope uh, currently. Just uh, if you see anything, just let me know, and if I need to call another sector, I can. Okay, uh, can we request 10,000 for 7 Pop? Number 7 Hotel Pop, over. Okay, just stand by. Number 7 Hotel Pop, I climb maintain 10,000. Climb maintain 10,000, Banana 7 Hotel Pop. Approach Banana 7 Hotel Pop, we got a pirate for you. Number 7 Hotel Pop, I go ahead. Yeah, the tops are at 9,500. Uh, we got light clear icing from about 8,500 to 9,500. Uh, temperature is about negative 5 Celsius. November 7, Hotel Papa, Roger. And the altitude for that icing again was 8,500 to 9,500. Uh, affirmative, 7, Hotel Papa. 
7 Hotel Papa. Roger, thanks for the report. Bidenza 367 Hotel Papa, 900 miles from Ajez, across Ajez, at or above 3000, cleared straight in, RNAV 1 to 4 approach into Griffin. Otzedge, at or above 3,000, clears uh, straight in, RNAV 14 approach at Griffin, Bonanza 367 Hotel Papa. We can go down to 1320, but we're going to go down to uh, 1560 and circle to the opposite runway. Okay, so we're going to 2200 now. It was so smooth <laughs> through all the rain and everything, and now here in these like little clouds around Georgia, it's getting tossed everywhere. Okay, three green. Approach Bonanza 367 Hotel Papa, cancel IFR. Bonanza 367 Hotel Papa, IFR can place and receive. Welcome to HMV Far, case 5 is approved today. Good night. Well, that was fun. So uh, now here we are in Griffin, Georgia. Going to throw the plane in a hangar and uh, go fly a DC-3 tomorrow. Just nose it straight in. I don't know, sound looks like it. I would agree. It's a little cold here in Georgia. I thought we were gonna get some, you know, nice weather here in the south, and it said it's like 40, 47 degrees out. So uh, we're doing a, a heated walk around today. So these these engines, um, you could almost think of them sort of like a, a turbocharger is kind of the more common thing today. But instead of a turbocharger, where you use exhaust gas to turn a turbine that then turns a compressor that compresses the air coming into the engine. These use a blower, which is this gear-driven engine accessory that basically the engine just drives uh, and that compresses the air, so there's no exhaust involved. Uh, it's just basically just an engine accessory turned by the engine itself directly uh, that compresses the air coming in so you can get up to uh, where red line is 50, 50 inches, 50, 52 inches. And you probably even get more than that at, at sea level if you try. Oh yeah, it'll, it'll go beyond 52. Yeah. <laughs> so we're in the uh, we're in the simulator, and we're about to take a, make a takeoff. This is a full motion simulator. Okay. All right. So here we go. Want to take off roll? This is your runway, and we're on the runway heading right now. <laughs> so we start the roll. Okay. And what are you going to tell me? What's my instruction? Well, so you're you're doing the takeoff, or you're the pilot flying, or? That's a, that's a very good question. You're the pilot flying, I just happen to be sitting in the left seat because I'm driving the simulator right now, but the okay. rules are you're flying the airplane and I'm your co-pilot. So we're just going to step through the call outs here. Okay, so I'm going to start to go, we're going to get most of the way and I'm going to say set power. Alright, power is set. V2, positive rate. Gear up. This work. Down and latched, the handle's neutral, the pressure's up, and we got a green light. So you get all four of those confirmed. <coughs> And then you're still on the downwind. You can look out here, check for traffic, make a radio announcement if you want to. You're turning left base. Ask for half flaps. Down in here, you're getting ready to turn final. Three quarters flaps. And then some place, depending on speed, altitude, headwind, those kind of things. Mm -hmm. Land of the airplane, it's a touch and go. Here we go. Right at the base of that. 
Yep, right at the base of that, it's about right. Okay. So that's 29 gallons. 29 gallons. A lot of oil. What was your light, Cam? So we did the pre-flight, so we want the uh, before start checklist? Correct. Exterior and internal pre-flight. Complete. Or our checklist complete. Any questions? No. Okay. All right. Well, once you have the airplane, just leave the power exactly where it's at. Okay. And just My drive airplane. with your feet. Remember that the tailwheel is not really connected to anything. So you have to use the brakes? You have to use brakes and a little bit of rudder. So right now I'd go left rudder and a little, there you go. A little bit of right brake here. We're going to go across. Not yet, not yet, not yet. All right, now start a turn. There you go. Runway is clear. Griffin traffic, DC3, uh, taking runway 144. All right, you good? Yeah. All right, put your hands in the throttles. We're gonna bring in a little bit of power. I'm gonna help you, and then you're gonna say set power. <coughs> okay. DC3 is burning 14, Griffin. So I'll add a little power here. Yep, add some more. Set power. All right. Now start to push on the yoke a little bit. Push, push more on the yoke. Push on the yoke. There you go. We don't need any brakes now. Airspeed's alive. Easy on your feet. Just relax. Things are good. All right. Rotate. V2. Come on up. Hold it right there. Come on up a little more. Come on up. How's the rate? Here up. Fine. Power. After takeoff checklist. After takeoff checklist. All right, now go back nose down again. Looking good. Just keep what you got. Looking very nice. Come on up a little bit. There you go. Get rid of a little noise here. All right, very good. All right, so for for the landing, notice this is in the middle position. Yep. And it's there because it went there automatically after I pulled it all the way up. So okay. to put the gear down, just take this red handle and push it all the way down and leave it. Push it down and leave it. Now look what it did to our system pressure. See it zapping this? Yep. It is really taxing your system. It's pushing, 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 and feel the, feel the airplane slowing down. All right, now put this back in the neutral position. There you go. And now take this and latch it. There you go. So we're down and latched. The handle's neutral. You got positive pressure in there, and you got a green light. Okay. Now to retract it, reach down here and take this thing and pull it all the way up through the mid position, all the way up. There you go, leave it. Yeah. Now put the gear up. Just there you go. Until it's now just let it go. It's still taxing the system. See, it's, it's zapped the system trying to put the gear up. Now the gear's up. Now watch what happens to this handle when you put this back to zero. Move the red one to neutral. See how it puts it down to there? So this is called a spring lock position. So this is normal. You got system pressure and the gear is up with no pressure and the gear indicator shows unsafe. So that's that's exactly what we want. Two, nine, zero, at one, three, gut, one, nine, all right, I'm kind of gusty out here. All right, keep what you got. Just relax your upper body. Let yeah. the airplane do the work. You're good. Final gear check is good. All right, start to close them a little bit. Easy, easy. Just hold the yoke steady. You got it. Right rudder. Hold it. Hold it. Now just relax. Everything's good. Hold it. Close the throttles more. You got it. Easy. All right, very nice. All right, keep going forward on the yoke. All right, now fly the yoke, the tail down. Come on back. We're gonna land the tail now. Now all the way back. And 
And you got the airplane, just go all the way to the end. You're steering, you're on the runway, so it's nice and open here. So those are my first three landings in the DC-3. Pretty fun. Um, actually not that hard, but I mean it is a dog, like it's, you know, it's a lot of rudder, like a big leg workout, but uh, really fun to fly. Now we're going to grab some fuel and uh, do some more. Okay. One, two. I'm going to turn this back, switch back off. No. There you go. Three. All right. Go ahead. Down. Yep. And we're not going to pre-oil super long on this because we just got done flying. They're already oiled up good, so okay. I'm okay with you. Go ahead. Thank and you. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve blades. One. Go ahead and flip it. Two. Here we go. So release the brakes. Feet on the bottom part of the pedals. Now don't do anything yet. Just keep it. Okay. Set power. Beautiful. Beautiful. Push a little more. Push. Good. Now you're starting to get the tail in the air. Beautiful. Hold her steady right there. Everything looks nice. Power set. V2, rotate. There's your power coming back. What do you say? Uh, engine failure, gear up. Engine failure, gear up. Nose up, come on up. Identify, verify, feather. Okay, so all right, okay. and that's over. That's all it is. Nose down. We'll go back to our normal routine now. Our regularly scheduled programming. Climb power after takeoff checklist. Okay. Give me a second reduction, which you've got. And everything looks very nice. There you go. How do you like that, huh? Yeah, that wasn't, I mean, like you said, they barely noticed anything. You barely noticed anything, yeah. yeah. And leveling off from what to ask for. Uh, cruise power and cruise checklist. Beautiful. There's cruise power set. And cruise checklist is all complete. Gonna do descent approach in 20 inches prior to getting to the final approach fix. How old are these gyros? Ah, just a mere 50 years or something. Yeah, <laughs> they just seem extraordinarily confusing. You may want one of these eventually. I mean, where, which, how, do you, how are you supposed to know which way is up and which way is down? Uh, you just get used to looking at them. Right. Follow that course. Yep. We're going to Rochester. Five hours and three minutes. That's better than we got down here. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. Plus, see. you can take I like that. You all your friends, and you can go back and take a nap. I mean, yeah. Should we do it? I'll trade you even up. I keep the band, so you keep this. Uh, it's a good it's, deal. It's, I mean, oh, no, it's, it's tempting. It's over. We just did it. <laughs> All right, 270 at 6. It's a 3,700-foot runway. I want you to fly the upwind, crosswind, downwind, the final, and you give me the orders of everything that you want when, when you want it. Sounds good. Okay, so uh, you do the uh, descent checklist. All right. The approach checklist. Complete. Uh, 20 inches. We're uh, just past a beam, so we can go uh, quarter flaps, gear down, and landing check. There's quarter. Landing gear. Okay, down and latch, neutral, pressure's up, light screen. Down and latch, handlers, pressure up, green light. Okay, 
landing checklist is complete. I'm going to say half flaps. All right. You got half? Okay. Uh, three quarter flaps. All right. And there we go. Full, full flaps. All right. What goes with full flaps? And final text. Lights are set, loose pumps are on, flaps are full, and checks complete. I'm going to see a little bit of throttle. Yep. Let's see how it works out here. Maybe just a little bit more. You want to add a little bit or? Yeah, add a little okay. bit. Okay, all right. We're at like 90. Okay. That's probably it. Maybe add a little bit more. Uh, yeah, just a little bit. I don't want to get slow over these yeah. trees. We're at 90 knots. All right, just keep 90. And on this approach, we're going to bring it in right over the trees. So just hold what you got right here. Okay. Speed's good. You're doing good. Hold what you got. It's going to look like we're going to hit those yeah, holes, right. but we're really not. Okay. All right, now bring it right on in. Now close them. You're doing good. All right. Close them all the way. All right, now go forward on the yoke, nice and easy. You got it. Okay. Forward, keep it, keep it. Now fly the tail down. Easy, just land the tail. The eagle has landed. Now all the way back. So I just finished getting my SIC type rating in the DC-3 here, um, all set, now we're going to load up, maybe find some food real quick, and fly back to Rochester. It's a ton of fun, super fun airplane. This is just like a little taste of this too, like uh, there'll be a bunch of behind the scenes stuff like procedures, pre-flight, starting, that kind of stuff uh, on Patreon, so if you check out my uh, Patreon campaign, you can get access to that stuff. And that helps make this content possible.